Today's practice is full back support on the attack. The pitch size is a half pitch split into two zones and within each zone we've got one, two, three, four plus the goalkeeper versus three and the same in the opposite zone. So we've got one, two, three, four plus the goalkeeper versus three. The aim of the practice is for the full backs to support the attack to create width and overloads in the attacking third. Now we are only playing two zones in this practice, not the three zones or the three thirds. So the box is going to become irrelevant. Play starts from either of the goalkeepers and the attacking team can press as high or as deep as they decide to. If they decide to attack really high, the outlet is obviously going to be coming to the full backs. So the attacking team still have to think about how they press and when to press. The aim for the team in possession is to progress the ball into the attacking zone. And once within the attacking zone, the full backs must support the attack to then create a 5v4 or a 5v4 plus goalkeeper within that zone. Once within the attacking zone, the team in possession are ultimately looking to score a goal. The coaching points we're going to look at today are the width of the fullbacks. So if the fullbacks stay really, really wide, it then forces the defensive team into a decision. So is the defensive team going to sit as a block? and give space up in the wide channels? Or are the defensive team going to spread across the width of the pitch, marking the fullbacks, therefore creating space for runs in between the centre-back and fullback? This moves us perfectly onto the second coaching point, which is movement off the ball. So example one of movement off the ball and how it looks will be an exact replication of what we've just shown. So if there's a space between the centre-back and full-back for the ball to be threaded, can the full-back recognise this and make a diagonal run for a straight ball? Or can he make a straight run for a diagonal ball? Ultimately, receiving the ball beyond the defensive line and being able to get into a crossing position. The second example of movement off the ball comes from a midfield runner. And an example of how this would look is, can the nine receive the ball while pinning one of the centre halves and essentially dragging the centre half out of position to disorganise the defensive line, therefore creating space in beyond for a midfield runner. The third coaching point is patience in possession. So when to retain possession and when to penetrate. So if there's not a penetrating option, can we retain possession and can we move the ball quickly at a good tempo in order to try and disorganise the defensive unit? By moving the ball quickly, not only do we increase the chance of the defensive unit being disorganised, but if we can switch play like this, we can also create an overload and try and isolate the fullback. Again, that will create the space between the centre-back and the fullback for a penetrating ball or for a ball into the fullback and again, a midfield runner beyond. If a goal is scored, play restarts from the opposition goalkeeper. If the ball goes dead, play restarts from the opposition goalkeeper. However, if the defensive team win the ball, the defensive team should look to transition really quick and spring a counter-attack. So can a long ball or a direct ball be played into the attacking three, creating a 3v2 in the opposite zone? Potentially, if recognised quickly, a 4v2, or even a 5v2, depending on how quick the defensive team transitioned back into their zone. 